The 856T Control Tower IO-Link module comes in a box that includes the installation instructions. In order to connect it to the IP67 Armor Block IO-Link Master, a Class A to Class B patch cord is required and is readily available in various links from Rockwell Automation. The part number for this patch cable is included in the installation instructions for your reference. I have connected to channel zero, which currently has a flashing status LED. In order to use both channels on a single port, a splitter can be used together with two Class A to Class B patch cords. The IO-Link patch cord connects to the bottom of the IO-Link module after passing through the mounting base. Once the patch cord is connected, I can secure the module to the mounting base just like I would with a standard 856T power module. The status LED seen through the top of the module should be green once it is connected to the IO-Link master. At the IO-Link master, the channel zero status LED is now on. Solid, verifying, communications is working. Now I can connect the IO-Link module to the rest of the stack light. The PLC is currently programmed to turn the light module on via IO-Link. Please note that in both cases, the current consumption of the entire stack light should be calculated to not go beyond the maximum current allowed per port on the IO-Link master. For help configuring the stack light in Studio 5000 Logix Designer, refer to the separate video named Configuring the IO-Link Control Tower Stack Light in Studio 5000, or consult the IO-Link Module User Manual. Thank you.